And so we are a few patches closer to a usable cosmic desktop without many compromises, because we now have a UI for customizing our shortcuts. And moreover, the shortcuts are now subscribed on runtime, and we don't need to restart the compositor for the changes to take effect, like previously when we had to edit the RON configuration files. Um, I'll better show you, alright? The very first change is on desktop and panel, that we can now easily set the behavior of the super key. By default, it will open the launcher. That's the launcher if you don't know, and also working as an alt tab for quickly switching between windows. The second choice is to open the applications library that basically I don't like at all how it looks, and it is also accessible with Super and A. And next is my personal favorite, the workspaces, which is especially useful because the alt tab isn't exactly great. Um, now, if it could have some kind of animation, everything would look way much better without developers doing that much, I guess. Anyway, I hope we'll get that soon. In the meantime, we can remove some unnecessary window controls. Not sure why I hadn't done that already? Okay, next is the actual shortcut editor. On input devices, keyboard, and keyboard shortcuts. And while many of them are specific to tiling, it isn't like this mess most usually happens on traditional tiling window managers. So even if you aren't interested on moving everything with keyboard, shortcuts won't really get on your way. First of all, shortcuts are organized into reasonably sensible categories. Plus, there is a handy search. And when we're changing something, um, for example, let's change the application library shortcut. Oh, currently we can't press a shortcut to bind it. We should actually type it. And if we try to add a shortcut that already exists, we'll get a notification warning. The UI is a bit over dramatic though, because when the dialog comes in, the drawer magically comes out. And the opposite, when we close the dialog, the drawer somehow reappears. Technically is not such a big deal, just saying from a UX point of view. Anyway, let's create a new shortcut, say super and the right bracket, to show you a few more things. The first thing is that we can see the entries we have modified, even without the most polished way. Um, I believe it will take really long time to fully fix such graphical stuff, because there are lots of them and everywhere. And even if you have lots of contributors, in the end of the day, someone should review and approve the changes. At least, a big thanks to the developers that took the time to install a search box since the beginning, which is super useful and should be everywhere, even on context menus if you're asking me. So we can search for the overview and see that we have modified the key already. Another thing is that we can obviously set custom keys for launching apps and whatever. Finally, and certainly very important for some of you, the shortcut configuration is stored in plain text files, which means you can easily move them around like the good old dots files. True story, even if I had Linux forever, I very later discovered what people meant with dots, so they were asking me on YouTube to send them my dots, and I was like, what the fuck? 